the Chargers. Your boy Jim Harbaugh goes there. You were there for, I believe, nearly all of his tenure. What is the yes. face you're making when I spring up Jim Harbaugh? What is that? What is behind well, that? Well, Jim Harbaugh is a winner. Jim Harbaugh is going to have that team in the AFC Championship. What? You can rewind this during <laughs> Championship Weekend when? and replay when, when, this. When? 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 Let's. How many? How much time? First year. This year. This year. Jim Harbaugh is going to have the Chargers in the AFC Championship. Why? Well, because, first of all, he has his quarterback. And when you put Jim Harbaugh with the quarterback, he's the quarterback whisperer, like he was with J.J. McCarthy, like he was with Colin Kaepernick. Any quarterback that, you know, was under the tutelage. Sorry about that. No problem. Sorry about that. Any of the quarterbacks that were under the tutelage of Jim Harbaugh, he figures out what your strengths are, and he tailors his offense around that in the running game. And then his defense, they have, you know, Bosa on one side, and then um, uh, the guy Mack, Khalil Mack mm -hmm. on the other side, along with the secondary and how fundamental and physical he demands his teams to be. I believe that Jim Harbaugh and, and the L.A. Chargers are going to be in the AFC Championship game this year. And who is he throwing the ball to? You just you just think that he's going to draft really well? I mean, I'm still like, the whole Greg Roman thing, I don't even quite understand. You get rid of Eckler, you get rid of Keenan, you get rid of Mike Williams. Like, I, I don't, uh, I, I can't, I'm a little stunned that that's what you're saying, stunned. Well, there's gonna be some young players that he's gonna demand a lot of, and he's gonna draft some guys. They're not really done shuffling around uh, that roster over there either. I remember when we all came together uh, what, 2012, we didn't have any expectations. And we ended up in the NFC Championship. Nobody expected our quarterback position to do anything. And, um, you know, they, they really led the team. And then our defense, we stepped up. There's a, when you, when you win football games as a head coach like Bill Belichick or Harbaugh Brothers, um, there's a, there's not a, a reinvention to the game of football. It's old school football, old school discipline, technique, and the knowledge of the game. And that's what Coach Harbaugh has over every other coach on any level of football is just that intricate knowledge and the way that he motivates his team. So look out for those charges. Uh, I'm stunned. They were a 5-12 and 12 team. Obviously, Jim Harbaugh came and very turned that Niners team around uh, that you were a part of very, very quickly. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him, but I got to see see the draft. And it, it's wild to me that you're, con you're concerned about this loaded Niners squad being able to take out Patrick Mahomes, but somehow think that Harbaugh and Herbert, who I guess could, uh, you know, he's 2-5, and five, Herbert, against the Chiefs, I wonder, in his career. So he has one and against him a little is... bit. The Chiefs don't know what to expect from Coach Harbaugh and his offensive philosophy and Correct. his defensive philosophy. And I remember thinking back to the 49ers teams, nobody expected much from Crabtree after his first couple of years before Harbaugh got there. Then we added Ted Ginn Jr., who was a journeyman, speedster. We had a bunch of receivers and pretty much no-name tight ends other than Vernon Davis. And when we acquired Randy Moss, that nobody ever heard of. It was the philosophy, it's the run game, and then it's the system with the RPOs and the toughness that the players exude each and every week. So, yeah, look out for Coach Harbaugh this year. We